Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to install Das Studio from scratch with Install Manager. This is something that I have to do now anyway, because I have a little bit of a mishap with my system that's happened there, which required me to reinstall Windows. And as such, I have to reinstall all the applications, including Das Studio. And I thought I'll go and show you this. The way I'm doing it is not the only way to do it. So if you have a better way, then, you know, go for that or let us all know in the comments. Uh, but this is the way that's worked for me for over 15 years. So I'm going to go and stick with that. I'm going to use something called Install Manager and I'll show you where to get it from the DAS homepage. Currently, we're being kind of enticed to use DAS Central, which is a newer version of an application that does more or less the same thing. But the older version, DAS Install Manager, is still available. And I and many other members of the community find it's just a little bit more lightweight and does the job just a little bit better. So here on the very front page, we have this button that says get started for free. And when you click it, then it'll take you to the screen that lets you download Das Central. You have to be logged in for that. So if you're not currently logged in here on the top right corner, then you'll be asked to create an account. You have to verify your email address. And then once you click that link again from the homepage, you, you go here. This is going to download Das Central for you. We don't really want that. And currently there's no real direct way to get there from the home page, but there is from your back end. There's also a direct link that I'll show you. So if you go into here and you head over to my account, then you can head over to your product library over here and just have a look at any of the products that you've bought. So there's probably at least one like uh, Das Studio and it doesn't matter which one it is, just click any of these. I'm going to pick this one here, Limstick for Genesis and above, latest product by 3D Universe. I'm looking forward to having a look at that. And at the very bottom of this page here, so this is going to look different per product, but at the very bottom in very small print, there's a link directly to Install Manager and this is what we need. So the URL to this is in fact das3d.com forward slash get underscore install underscore manager. And when we click that, the little download dialog will pop up for the latest version of install manager. So it's still supported and then it can be found in your downloads folder. Let's have a look at it and go and install it. That's just a matter of double clicking and following the prompts. This image here, by the way, is kind of classic. This kind of image has followed Das around for as long as I can remember. So it's kind of cool here to uh, to see these old figures still immortalized in Install Manager. It's kind of cool. So you just go and click accept the agreement and let get, let it rip. I'm going to use the default destination path. So this is on my C drive. Don't change this. Don't basically don't touch anything. Just hit next as uh, and and you know just just roll with the flow here. This is how it installs itself. It'll also leave a little icon on the desktop. You can just put that in the trash if you want to launch it from the start menu. It's no problem at all. It'll clean up after itself and then you go next and hit finish. It'll offer to launch the install manager directly. I might go and do that. And here it is. So this is now a little window that will require your credentials. There we go. This is actually a really handy way of letting us know what needs to be installed to get Das Studio going. So let me go through this here. It'll install some default content that I'd like to keep. Let me see. PostgreSQL, this is the database management system. We need that. Das Studio 4 application, we need that. The default resources, those are shaders and stuff like that. We need that as well. Interactive lessons, D4 starter essentials, Genesis 8 male and 8 female starter essentials. These also include Genesis 8.1 at this point. Then at the bottom here further down there's also you can add the genesis 3 male and 3 female starter essentials if you want that i'm, I'm going to go and use those there's also the dm's memorial those are little starter scenes that you can or cannot use i'm not going to use those but if you're brand new to das studio and you haven't got a lot of content then go ahead and install those i'm going to go and disable those das studio ira hdr environments i'm going to use those as well dark fantasy weapons i don't think i will have the rocker outfit the shadow thief and the shadow thief additional text packs. I don't think I want that either. Any of these things can be installed at a later point. You don't have to make a decision now. This also includes Hexagon. Das is 3D modeling application that is directly integrated with Das Studio. So you can send objects back and forth. But I might not do that at the moment either. I'm just going to go and hit start the queue and let Install Manager install Das Studio to the default location on my C drive. We'll deal with additional paths to external hard drives in a moment, which is once we've installed once we've finished this process of installing these defaults, I'd recommend you leave them as they are and you do not change where these defaults are installed. 
I have a shortcut icon here on my desktop that will launch DAS Studio. I can also launch it from the regular start menu here. Let's just see if everything is working as I expect. Looks like, yes, it does. And now I can go and uh, start moving tabs into the positions that I'm used to. And I will, of course, participate. Um, when you start DAS Studio for the first time, it'll ask for your email and your password. And that is just so that DAS Studio itself can connect to the DAS cloud, as it were, so the DAS website, in, in fact. If you tick automatically log in and do not show this again, then this will happen all the time. From now on, you have to hit connect once. Keep your fingers crossed and it says success. You're now connected to your DAS 3D account, which is awesome. So this lets the smart content tab talk to the DAS website directly. You can also install things directly inside DAS Studio if you want to do that. Um, I don't want to keep this popping up, so I'm going to tick this box here. Do not show this page again. Hit OK. And then there we are. Before I get going with installing vast amounts of content, I might want to tweak the path of where DAS Studio as well as Install Manager installs my content from now on. So by default, everything is installed on the C drive. And if you have a large drive and if you have a fairly small library, that is not a problem. But many of us who've been content collectors over the years, we tend to split things up into multiple libraries, depending on content, depending on vendor, depending on project. There's all kinds of other approaches that you can take to this. And um, I like to keep things on an external drive. But for that, I need to have a folder and a proper path to that. And I need to let both Install Manager as well as DAS Studio know about this path. And I'll go through this now. In fact, let's stay in DAS Studio for this before we go to Install Manager and create that new folder on that location that I want. I'm going to go to my Content Library tab for this. And here under DAS Studio Formats, I'm going to go and right click on this thing at the top here and say add base directory. And that will now go and let me navigate to wherever I'd like my new content library to be. So you can see that this one's pre-populated on under my documents, DAS 3D Studio, my library. I don't really want for that to be there. I'd like for that to be on a different drive. So I'm gonna put this under my M2 drive for now. And it's uh, it's fairly cluttered up here already, but that's, that's cool. I'm gonna go and make a new folder. This could be any external drive and I'll just call that test library for now. And that is all I need to tell DAS Studio. This is a new drive. This is a new folder, empty folders, nothing in there. Select the folder. And then now this is mapped inside DAS Studio and it will now look for content in that folder if it exists. This is true for both the smart content as well as the regular content library tab. If I double click this to open this, I now have three libraries here, my library, my DAS 3D library, and I also have my test library. This one is where by default all your content's gonna go in that Install Manager knows about. This one is an empty folder in your documents directory on Windows and in your documents directory on the Mac respectively. This is something that is designed for you to save your scenes in. So ideally you don't wanna mix stuff that you've made with stuff that is in your library to be used that stuff that you've installed from the store. You can work that way, but ideally you don't wanna do that because otherwise you don't really know, hey, was this now an original file? Or was this something that I've bought from the store? Why isn't it working? Well, maybe I've messed it up and so forth. So I recommend you keep these things separately, but I personally don't use this particular path for my library, so I tend to remove this. And I wanted to show you how to do that as well. Maybe you've messed this folder up. Maybe you want to add another one. Maybe you want to remove one and so forth. You can do that. So I'm going to go and remove my My Library folder and just stick with the My DAS 3D Library folder because that is a bit confusing. So all you need to do is right click on here and say Remove Base Directory, and that'll get rid of that. It'll collapse the top folder here, but if you expand that again, you can see it's now gone. There's another way to get there. Just for completion, you can also head over to Edit Preferences. And in your Preferences, you can go into Content, into the Content tab. And then at the bottom here, you can see the Content Directory Manager. And that is a similar hierarchical description of what we've just set up here in the Content Library tab. So under here, you have several things. I don't get confused here. This is DAS Studio Formats, and these are the direct paths to your library. So in case you ever needed to know the exact path without wanting to navigate there, this is how you can get access to those things. So mine, my new library is under E Test Library. Very cool. So now DAS Studio knows about this, but Install Manager doesn't. And we need to tell Install Manager the same path so that it can go and install stuff there. Let's do that next. Let's go and minimize DAS Studio, go back into Install Manager and head over to this little gear icon here at the top. 
And when you click that, you can go to the advanced settings. And when you're there, you have an installation tab here. So at the bottom here, you have the content path shortcut. And the first one is described here. This is in fact the library that I've basically just removed from Dash Studio. So I don't want to put any content there. And in fact, I'm going to go and remove this folder in a moment because I don't want content accidentally to end up there. But I can't do that because there's only one library folder right now that Install Manager knows about and I can't remove that. So to add one, there's this little plus icon here at the bottom left. All I need to do is click that and then go and give it a label. So I'm going to call it my test library. That's an arbitrary title. You can give it any title you want. You can split it by project or by vendor or by year. That's another exciting thing to do every year, make a new library, and then you can map and unmap things as you see fit. I'm going to call it my test library and on the bottom here, I'll give it my path. So that's the same one that I've just told Das Studio about. It's on my E drive and it's under test library. There we go. That's that. Hit accept. And now we have these two library paths here. And now that I have more than one, I can go and delete one that I don't want. So I'm going to go and delete this one here, which is the recommended Das Studio poser folder here. Let me go and get rid of that. Now we only have this folder available. I can hit accept now and then go to the ready to download tab, at which point I can now go and pick something that I'd like to install or type it in at the top here, hit start queue, and then that'll install this thing. But if you had multiple paths available, you might want to put one product into this and one product into that library. And the way to do that is essentially clicking show details. And that'll open a pane at the bottom here. That'll make, you can just, you know, make that a bit bigger. And then just before you hit start queue, you can pick a folder here. So I've only, I've just, I've just removed my other one stupidly. I should have really kept that there. So to show you, this would now be a drop down into which I can go and say this product goes into here, this product goes into here. And so this is how you can distribute these things around different libraries. And I encourage you to do that. So anything that is now ticked, if I were to have these three products or these four products here, um, whatever I've picked here, the moment I hit start queue, those products would go into this directory. Once they're done installing and I select a bunch of other products, I can go and select a different library path and they will go into a different directory. Both of these directories, any of these directories need to be mapped inside Das Studio for this to work. And then you got your content split into various libraries. On the uninstall front, you don't have to worry about this. Whatever is installed, Install Manager will keep track of and it will remember where what is installed and where it needs to be uninstalled from. And that is basically how that works. Let's go and test it with the product just so that we verify this is correct. I'm going to go and uh, untick these things and search for my own stream safe textures product. Here it is. Making sure my correct library is selected. Hit start queue and let it rip. It takes a moment to download. So, you know, to prove a point, let's go into my smart content tab under figures. And hopefully, yeah, that's true. We're not seeing my stream safe texture. So anything that's in gray here, that means this is content that I currently don't have installed. Anything that has a colored thumbnail is content that currently is installed. So my stream safe textures are not on here. And the Genesis 3 and 8 starter essentials are currently installed. Look at that. I think it's finished. My product is installed. That's awesome. So if something like that has happened and Das Studio was open at the time of the installation, all you need to do is navigate to a different category here. Let's say environments and then go back to figures and then that other installed product will show up here. And this is a good sign. So it is showing up. That means it's probably correctly installed. If I double click on this and then try and load a figure, then I can do that and the figure appears. Ah, there we go. This has worked. This is now installed in the second library. I can always check that when you, if you ever want to know where is this coming from, which library is this in, you can go and right click on any of the product thumbnails or any of the file thumbnails here and head over to browse to file location. And that will open the Windows Explorer on Windows or it'll open the Mac Finder. And if I do that, uh, we're here and this will give you the full path to that library. So in my case, it is in fact the test library under people, Genesis is eight female characters stream safe. Uh, you can also on Windows, you can also go and hit properties and under details, you will find the full path here. So it is definitely on my E drive, which is the external drive. That's exactly what I wanted. I hope this was helpful. This means 
I can now go ahead and install my 50 terabytes worth of content, but maybe slightly less. I'll be very careful with that. Remember that more products are the ones that slow the loading times of the Genesis figure down. So if you have a lot of morphing products, a lot of characters, a lot of uh, shaping dials and all that, a lot of fit morphs and all that, that will dramatically slow down the loading times of your figure. So make sure you spread those out in whichever way works for you. Spread those out and then un map them if you don't want to use them so then your figure can start uh, with a lot less morphs and therefore a lot faster i hope this was helpful if you enjoyed this video then please share it with friends family and total strangers also other newbies to the das scene this is an important topic and you want to get started on the right foot if you have any questions then please drop them down in the comments and other than that i will see you next time take care bye bye